This is a devastating fire in the Inland Empire. 74 mobile homes destroyed there. Residents running for their lives as an intense wind-driven brush fire swept through that community. And late tonight, 89-year-old woman may be missing in that fire. Her family were told on the phone with her as the flames closed in and then that line went dead. Well, the Sandalwood Fire in Cali Mesa, the most destructive fire of the day, but not the only one, as you just saw. Fear Santa, Santa Ana's roar today, spreading fires in Moreno Valley, Fontana, and Newberry Park. Of course, now in Silmar, and red flag warnings still stay up across Southern California, Evelyn says, until tomorrow. And the other big story today, forced blackouts. Edison has intentionally cut power to almost 40,000 people across Southern California, from Palmdale to Fillmore to Thousand Oaks and Fontana, some with no warning, some blacked out now for 14 hours. So let's go to KKLine's Nicole Comstock live in Cali Mesa right now with a look at that. Nicole? Yeah, you guys, and eight hours after this fire started, ground crews are still out here going through this mobile home park, trying to wet down any of the homes that are still smoldering after 74 of them burned to the ground out here earlier this evening in those fast moving flames when Santa Ana winds came through the area. Now, we know that they also requested a cadaver dog a short time ago to go through all of these homes and make sure we didn't lose anybody out here. But unfortunately, as you guys mentioned, at least one family out here tonight is saying they are missing their 89 year old mother and we want to get you right to her photo because this family is asking if anybody took her in if maybe she's at a friend's house to give them a call and let them know her name is Lois Arvixen and the story goes she was getting ready to leave in this fire it was descending on this mobile home park she got in her car she was on the phone with someone she said she was just grabbing her purse and leaving the last thing people saw was that garage and the home go up in flames. So tonight, as you can imagine, her family is extremely worried. Santa Ana winds made a wicked firefight in the dark at this mobile home park in Calamesa. Embers continued to ignite and gut new homes several hours after the start of the Sandalwood fire. In all, 74 homes were destroyed, 16 more were damaged, and 500 acres of brush were burned. The wind was so intense that that it just engulfed the whole park. It was just, it, it was so fast, there was just no way. No way to save anything of value for Rosie Castellon. By the time she realized the flames raging in the wind were burning down her community, she had to get a first responder to rescue her dog, Monster. And I just raced home and I was in a panic. There was, there's nothing left but a pile of ash right now. Only to find out that her home had in fact burned down. There's a lot of people here that don't have places to go, that don't have anything, and I don't know what they're going to do. Cal Fire crews dropped water over homes and fire retardant over the fields, but it was hard to get ahead of the flames. Tiny embers traveled quickly in the wind, giving people inside only seconds to make it out alive. And Cal Fire says there were also a number of medical emergencies that they had to respond to out here as they were fighting the flames inside of this mobile home park. We know that at least one elderly man said he had to get out of here so quickly he only had time to grab one oxygen tank that was only half full. So as soon as he made it out of the mobile home park, he had to have relatives call first responders to help him get to another location so that he'd be able to breathe throughout the evening. So this was definitely a dire situation out here. Reporting live from Calamesa, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.